Today marked 41 consecutive 4 p.m. updates by the government, including the Easter messages by the chief minister and governor. Dr Cortez gave a rundown of the current statistics, noting an increase of nine cases over the past few days. At accident and emergency in St Bernard's Hospital, in the 24 hours to 8.30 this morning, there were 26 attendances. Of these, only four were of persons with COVID symptoms. All four were swabbed, but there was no need for any admissions to either of the COVID wards, John Ward or the COVID CCU. In relation to hospital, there are no patients in the COVID John Ward. There is one in COVID critical care unit, but it's a patient who has since tested negative and so will be moved. So there are no COVID patients currently in our hospitals. The latest test results are not quite as reassuring. Total swabs, 2,198, pending 82, results received, 2,116, and confirmed 141 cases, active 10, recovered 131. This represents an additional nine positives in a week after a lull of about a week with no increase. While well, these are clearly still not massive numbers and certainly nothing to panic about, they do act as a sobering reminder that the virus is out there still. Dr Cortez said that together with Minister for Health Paul Balban, Acting Medical Director Dr Krish Rawal and Public Health Director Dr Sohal Bhatti, a second video conference meeting was held with a world expert in infectious diseases, Professor David Heyman. The professor is a former World Health Organization executive. He led the global response to SARS and is currently professor of infectious diseases at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Dr Cortez said they discuss current developments and Gibraltar strategy. Professor Heyman was complimentary about the steps that we've taken in Gibraltar and our successful strategy so far. Like we do regularly, he warned about complacency and stressed that we need to keep reminding ourselves of the danger that this virus still poses. This is something that the government has very much in mind as it discusses and considers next steps. Rest assured that every aspect is being considered based on public health advice and conscious of the need of getting our lives and our economy back on track as soon as it is safe to do so. Dr Cortez said that in his department, the Ministry for Culture, they've already been looking at reopening areas they've been pausing, such as museums, libraries and exhibitions, adding they'll be speaking to dance schools in the coming weeks. In answer to GBC questions as to what the government's exit strategy from lockdown will be, Dr Cortez was emphatic. Okay, I think that, that it's clear. I mean, whenever I get the daily results, I want them to be as low as possible. So I think that um, our strategy must be keeping numbers low. Um, how we develop our lockdown policy, we'll take that into account. We know how to trap it. We know how we can stop the virus. Uh, we've been quite successful so far. Let's keep on at that. So that is the strategy at the moment. Civil Contingencies Coordinator Ivor Lopez gave a summary of all the work done by the various agencies in getting Gibraltar ready for the pandemic. He repeated the FCO's travel advice for Spain, that people should not move from Gibraltar into Spain unless they hold residency there. This, he said, had also been tightened up. Mr Lopez also paid tribute to the work being done by the vulnerable group team in supporting not only the elderly, but also children, the homeless and those at risk of domestic abuse. And the teams under Dean Castry have been able to uh, uh, support over uh, 279 requests for 110 vulnerable uh, families. And that has me meant daily engagement with them, making sure that they are receiving the goods and the items that they, uh, that they do. And again, I congratulate the team for working so hard in making sure that the most vulnerable of our society are supported. Ivor Lopez also remarked on the work being done by the Environmental Agency in ensuring food supplies continue to flow across the border and also in areas such as the cemetery and waste management. Uh, they have been very much engaged in making sure that uh, food supplies continue unhindered. 
And that has meant engagement uh, almost daily with all the food suppliers, whether those are the supermarkets or the wholesalers. And that engagement has really started uh, since late January um, or uh, early February and, and really uh, continues. And the fact that our shelves continue to be full, as we all know, um, I think just shows the work that they have been able to uh, carry out and how uh, useful that has been. Another area of the Ministry of Environment has been about increasing the uh, cemetery capacity, and they have actually done great uh, work in making sure that we are able um, to receive uh, further demand over there if, if it is uh, required. Dr Cortes said it was too soon to resume funerals. But in a positive note, he said we can beat this. The better we follow official advice, the sooner we can get out to live a more normal life and the less likely it will be that we'll have to reverse.